Hey, what's up guys? It's Alpha Scale and I'm back with another figure review and today we'll be looking at Hot Toys MMS 294, that's Movie Masterpiece 294, Batman Returns collectible set. Now this is uh, the Bruce Wayne and Batman uh, figure set that I'll be reviewing today. Uh, they also have a set with just Batman by himself, but I got the combo pack for the review, so nothing but the best for my fans. So anyways, before I go any further, I want to give a massive shout out to Aaron Lin from Hong Kong. He's my uh, figure connect from Hong Kong from the Far East. Thank you, my friend. Great service as usual. And I also want to give a big shout out to my boy Brandon on Instagram. Uh, check him out. Show him love at Star Wars True Facts underscore. That's at Star Wars True Facts underscore. And you can also check my Instagram at Alpha Scale. So anyways, we'll be looking at the figures, the accessories, all that good stuff. And I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on this great set. And for any Batman fans out there, I think this is a must, must buy. So anyways, let's move on with the review. All right, guys. So I'm just going to go through the accessories real quick. I didn't take them out of the box um, because I'm probably selling this set. So I don't want to mess with it too much, but I'll do my best. So anyways, um, this is the instruction sheet here. Um, I opened it just to look at it so I could review this figure properly for y'all. So this is the instruction sheet. It just shows you how to take care of the figure and, you know, remove stuff and put stuff on and all that mumbo jumbo. So here we have two um, interchangeable mouth plates for uh, Batman. So you can remove this and put on these, um, either one of these uh, mouth plates. So that is the bat. Michael Keaton. I'm going to remove him so I can show you what's underneath. So we have a wired cape right here. And I removed the plastic wrapper from the cape, you know, just uh, so I could review it. Uh, anyways, um, this is the cape. It's, it's leather-like. Uh, the material is really nice. Um, to me, it's better than the DX09, I believe. The, um, the original Hot Toys Batman, the DX. I love this cape definitely dig in the feel of it and it's wired as well um, below we have his base and whatnot but I'll go through the base when I um, look at the figures so that's the base there and the stand so I'm just gonna go through the accessories so here we have a broken cow so here so you can replace this uh, cow with this broken cow which is pretty cool and then you can put on the Bruce Wayne head into this broken cow if you want um, this is the top half of the broken cow, so that's a pretty cool feature as well. So that's the broken cow. Here we have a batarang, and this is pretty cool because if you remember in the movie, um, he uses the batarang and he takes out like multiple bad guys. So you can see a little graphic of the the targets on the batarang. So that's pretty sick. He has um, a grappling gun right here. Um, this is a line launcher, so when he uses this, the line launches from both sides, so you can, so he can slide um, on the line wherever he needs to go. In the city, these are napalm packets right here. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, this is a signal scrambler right here. Uh, this here is a Batmobile remote, so if you remember in the movie, he calls the car, and the car comes rolling his way, so this is the, um, the remote for the Batmobile. Uh, these are extra lines for the uh, line launcher. So I guess you can interchange these lines and put them here, which is pretty cool. You get two lines as well. Um, quite a few um, interchangeable hands. So he's got like, this hand is pretty cool because with this, this hand he can hold um, the signal scrambler and the, um, the Batmobile remote and also the batarang so this is a pretty cool interchangeable hands so one two three four five six seven so seven extra interchangeable hands for batman definitely uh digging the hand poses so this is nice nice open palm right there um here we have an extra wrist peg for uh, batman uh this thing that looks like a flashlight is actually not a flashlight this is to actually move the eyes um, you can open the, there's an opening at the back of his head where you can move each eyeball. So it's kind of like purrs back in the day with the DX figures, which they don't make anymore. But so you get this um, eyeball, um, you know, 
move-in stick comes in handy. Uh, this is Bruce Wayne in the likeness of Michael Keaton. Well, kind of. The suit's pretty awesome. But as I said, I'll touch on the figures after. Um, these are extra buttons for his suit. You know, because sometimes buttons, they do fall off. And uh, it's kind of a bitch. So it's pretty good that they come with that. Uh, these are extra hands for Bruce Wayne. So we have um, six extra hands, different uh, hand poses, of course. Uh, wrist peg for Bruce Wayne. Um, and yeah, that's about it for the accessories. So I'm going to take the figures out so you can take a look, uh, have a better look at the figures themselves. Okay, so starting with Batman, we'll just uh, take a look from head to toe. So this is him with his base, and I put on his cape. So it's pretty easy. Basically, you take off the cowl, and then you just um, put the cape underneath, kind of spread it out, obviously, and then put the cowl back over the cape when it uh, rests on the shoulders. And there's a strap. And anyways, that's how you do it. It's in the instruction sheet. So, <laughs> yeah, let's not get technical. But, yeah, it's pretty easy to put on, bottom line. Um, oh, one cool thing about, I forgot to show you guys, um, on his belt, there's actually a magnet. So I took the, uh, the grappling uh, gun and I kind of, this is what I did. So it's like this, right? So it's kind of like that when he fires it. And then you can rotate this, the, the handle, and close it. And then, because there's a magnet on the handle, I'll show you. Uh, I'm trying to navigate this with one hand. So this is a magnet right here. And then you close it, and it just um, sticks on to his belt. That's pretty cool. Also, this uh, signal scrambler has a magnet, and this uh, sticks onto the belt as well, the utility belt, like that. So there you go. So there's a magnet there. Um, my first impression is one of amazement. Definitely amazed by the, the mouth. Definitely Michael Keaton. The flesh tones, the paint application, the sculpt. Really great job. The cowl is fantastic. Um, his bat ears, just awesome. Just everything. And the suit is nice and soft, so it's not uh, coarse and rigid, and it offers pretty decent flexibility. I mean, the articulation on this figure isn't the greatest because it's um, just a rubber suit over the whole figure, so definitely sucks when it comes to articulation. I try to move in the joints and whatnot, so it's very restricted. So if you're going to pose this figure, you might as well find a pose that works, you know, um, there's many trademark Batman poses from the movie that you can do that support the the limited articulation. But apart from that, I mean, like, that's what the suit has to offer. So it's exactly like the movie. And as you, if you notice, I left the wrappers um, on the figure because I actually am selling this figure. So I just wanted to review it. Uh, a good friend of mine is going to buy it from me. I think I might, uh, when I sell this, I might just get Batman by himself. I don't really want uh, Michael Keaton or the Bruce Wayne version. I don't see a necessity in having it. Just my personal preference. So this is the base right here. I'm definitely digging the, 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 the decal, um, the snow effect over the uh, bat signal. So that's pretty cool over the logo. Um, this is the nameplate, Batman. Um, the plastic wrapper is still over the, the nameplate. I haven't removed that plastic seal. Uh, the base actually lights up like the old uh, DX stands, and it uses three AA batteries. So, yeah, that's a lot of batteries. So that's what you get with that. Um, I'm going to rotate the figure. Okay, now, if you want to know how the eyes move, so basically... Um, you see this kind of uh, cut out part right here. You actually, so you'd actually move um, the back cap and 
uh, you see those little um, knobs right there? Well, that's how you move the eyeballs. And that's what I was talking about when I showed you this flashlight looking thingy. So you basically just stick it in here and you move the, you kind of cup those knobs with this piece right here and you move the eyes. So basically purrs, um, eye roll in system. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. And it's magnetic, so it goes back on pretty easy, you know, voila, like that. So that's how you move the eyes, just in case y'all wondering. Uh, this is the back of the stand. This is the off and on switch to turn on or turn off the lights. Um, this cape is really nice. It needs a lot of, if you're gonna pose it, it needs a lot of futz, futz in, uh, you know, just you just have to position it and fiddle around with it, mess around with it, but it's very nice quality, nice thick leather-like material, and it's also wired, so the wires are, um, so like right here it's wired and is this I believe this is wired as well um, is this wired no that's not wired mm, that's not wired let me see this seam right here no that's not wired so it's just basically these um, these two seams right here and the same goes for this side so that's wired and uh, this is wired as well so it's great that it's wired. It helps with the posability and whatnot. So anyways, that's Batman, and let's move on to Bruce Wayne. All right, guys, so here we have Bruce Wayne out of the box as well. In the likeness of Michael Keaton, um, the suit is top-notch. Great job by Hot Toys. Definitely impressed with this uh, tuxedo. And if you remember this um, outfit, he was wearing this outfit, uh, at the Shrek ball, I believe, towards the end of the movie. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is the base. It comes with a basic hot toy stand, um, nameplate, uh, decal at the on the base. Looks pretty cool. And I had to add the cowl. Definitely digging this. Um, well, half of a cowl, <laughs> but uh, yeah, great accessory. I'm figuring you could probably pose, I know it's not in the movie, but you could pose him holding the cow, looking down at the cow, that would probably be a pretty epic pose, so that's, um, yeah, that's the cow and the base. So, um, and also you might want to fix this uh, bow tie, um, I didn't really get around to fixing it because I'm just going to review it and that's it, but yeah, that could uh, use some futzing around. So let's focus on the head sculpt now. Um, the head sculpt, I probably I have my I have a lot of nitpicks about it. Um, I don't think the likeness is bang on. I'd probably give it like um, seven and a half out of ten, maybe seven out of ten. I just don't think it really looks like Michael Keaton in the movie. I can see the resemblance, but you know um, I've seen better sculpts by Hot Toys. I mean the paint application and the flesh tones are good as um, as, it, as it would be with any finished product but just the likeness it's just a bit off for me uh, the hair is sculpted really well uh, great great um, sculpt on the hair but it's just something about the face that really um, has me iffy about this sculpt but I mean you pretty much know what it is and that's why it comes with this uh, Batman Return set. I don't see Hot Toys making this figure as a standout figure by itself. So it's uh, it's still a great accompany piece, a piece to accompany uh, uh, Batman. Yeah. So overall, I just give the sculpt maybe seven out of ten. That's just my honest opinion. But I wouldn't let it take away from owning the set, or you know, especially if you're a, a big Batman fan. And that's just me being honest, you know. I like to keep it honest and give a true, well, my true opinion, that is. So, but that's Bruce Wayne, a.k.a. Michael Keaton, and there you have it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And until then, keep collecting, keep the peace, and I'm out of here.